1993, my father was working for a local township in New Jersey in the compost site and started experiencing some symptoms of fever, chills, joint aches, and extreme fatigue that led him to be bedridden for two weeks. He sought treatment from his primary care physician who indicated that it was most likely just a virus and that he should just wait for his body to uh, relieve itself of the, of the infection. This kept happening for the course of another year before he sought a second opinion. And that second opinion doctor said something similar. But at the time, my dad was experiencing longer bouts of this illness, longer symptoms that were keeping him out of work. And unfortunately, nobody could tell him what was wrong. So he started seeing online if he could find any support groups for chronic disease sufferers. And he found a lot of people in the New Jersey and Pennsylvania areas who were experiencing similar symptoms and being told that their doctors couldn't find anything wrong with them. Through them, he learned the word Lyme disease. Previous to that, he had never heard of Lyme disease. He had no idea what the symptoms were, how it was transmitted, or anything of the like. He also learned about a doctor in Pennsylvania who was taking on patients with these symptoms and getting them answers. So he made an appointment to see that physician, and upon his visit, the doctor confirmed that it was most likely Lyme disease that he was dealing with. So he sent off my father's blood to California and sure enough, the results came back positive for Lyme disease. Following his diagnosis, he was finally able to access treatment. He, had, he started a round of antibiotics and intramuscular injections, which my mother would give him. In 1998, my sister also came down with a tick bite. She luckily developed a bullseye rash and my parents, after having educated themselves on Lyme disease, knew the signs and symptoms. They immediately took my sister to see my father's doctor and she was able to get on antibiotics immediately and has no further issues as a 30 year old woman directly related to that diagnosis. In 1999, we went to a Lyme disease conference held in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. As a 10 year old girl sitting there listening to these amazing doctors who were trying to do better for these patients and advocate for them, I was floored and I knew I would have to get involved when I got old enough. If you know the signs and symptoms, you can advocate for yourself to get the proper treatment and the proper testing to make sure that you get a diagnosis right away and have no further issues.